Bingo Card using software called Bingo Card Printer, which is software from bingocardprinter.com. There's a free trial version on the website that you can download and try out and see how you like the program. Okay, this is the initial screen of the program. Um, what it allows me to do uh, on two main options are create a new bingo card project where I can start uh, creating a new bingo activity or open an existing bingo card project where I can uh, continue work on a previously created uh, bingo activity and perhaps make some changes to it or just print it out again or something like that. So I'll start by creating a new bingo card project. So uh, first of all I get prompted what kind of um, activity would I like to create. I can start with a blank bingo card, I can start with one with numbers, letters, I can use a topic like geography, names of countries or cities and so forth, history, um, presidents, uh, American Civil War, uh, holidays like 4th of July, Christmas, Halloween, uh, math, music, um, reading, the famous Dolch sight words list that uh, is used for teaching young children to recognize uh, common words, um, telling the time and so on. But I will start from a uh, blank list and I'm going to create some bingo cards for an ESL, English as a Second Language uh, class and I'm going to use some job titles. So for example we will have um, carpenter, doctor, lawyer, dentist, uh, actor, chef, uh, musician, maybe a singer, bookkeeper, lawyer, so we can perhaps have a paralegal as well, judge, um, perhaps a pilot, a mechanic, a good one, engineer, graphic designer, um, what else could we have, perhaps, uh, um, let me think, um, advisor and uh, priest would be a good one and um, teacher and uh, uh, what has to be nurse we haven't had yet and um, cleaner and let's have a Receptionist, receptionist, um, then the secretary, and uh, I'll leave it at that for now. I could keep adding more. As long as you've got enough items to fill up the bingo card, that's all, uh, all you need. Um, uh, the text is actually quite small because of the computer programmer item here. I can what I can do here. So I go on to my um, advanced layout. I can say vary the size of the text per square, so some of the text will have larger square, some will have a uh, smaller square, so let's just do that. You can see there's different size pieces of text now. Um, now, um, the items at the moment are in the order that I type them in. Um, I can uh, sort them into alphabetical order. Uh, I can also delete any uh, items that I don't want, uh, just by highlighting and pressing delete, I can delete it. Uh, there's a nice option here as well called add multiple items where I can enter a whole list of items, one per line, uh, or I can paste in a list from another program like a spreadsheet or a text file or a PDF or a website or anything like that. Um, I also um, can change the size of the bingo card. At the moment it's 3x3, 5x5, 7x7, and 1x5x5. Five five. I'll keep that. Um, but I can show you what 3x3 three three would look like. 7x7, seven seven, I obviously haven't entered enough items to fill out a whole bingo card. So we'll go to 5x5. Five five. I can turn on and off the heading. I can change the, change the title. Uh, you can see it will be changing at the moment. But I'll change that back to bingo. I can choose whether or not to have a special free space square in the middle. And if I do have it, what uh, text will appear in it. Uh, I can also change the... Um, I've shown you a little bit of advanced layout where I can choose different uh, um, 
font sizes, but I can also change the individual fonts for the elements. So, for example, if I go on fonts, my font dialog takes a moment to load because I've got a lot of fonts on this machine. But here I can choose the font for the heading. Let's uh, perhaps uh, choose a, something quite distinctive that you can be able to recognize as change. Maybe this uh, freehand font. I can change the font for the squares on the bingo card. Um, we will perhaps uh, do something that's uh, not so different so that it still remains uh, readable. Maybe, um, say, this one, for example. And I can change the free space font as well. You can see here the, the font has actually changed. I can also use things like symbol fonts. So, for example, uh, one of the example um, we have, uh, one of the templates that's already made bingo activities is using Greek letters, and we use a symbol font to produce bingo cards for teaching uh, the Greek alphabet. Um, uh, now, um, I can also change the colors, which I'll briefly show you here. I can change the heading color. Uh, so I can perhaps choose a uh, light green heading. Uh, I can change the square color. Let's make a um, maybe pink. I don't know. This is probably going to be quite garish and not too good taste. I can choose to have a checkered color, change the text color, free space color, the line colors. Let's choose uh, bright blue lines. Maybe. So there's my uh, color bingo card now. Um, and uh, now I'm ready to print. Now uh, the first option here I've got is called print call list. Um, that uh, allows me to print out the uh, the words for the bingo card in a random order. So I have a sheet of paper which I can use for just calling them out. It saves having to draw items out of a hat or anything like that. Um, there is also a built-in feature in the program that allows you to do your calling on the fly, which I'll show you as well in a minute. Um, you can choose how many bingo cards to put on the page. The more bingo cards I put on each page, uh, obviously the smaller each card will print, uh, but I can save on paper, although if I want to give one bingo card to each player, I'd have to um, cut the paper up. So I'll leave that on one, and I can choose how many unique bingo cards to print. Each bingo card will be different, containing a different combination of items in a different random order, and I can print lots of bingo cards very quickly, which is the key advantage to this program. So if I wanted to put in uh, 10 and produce 10 bingo cards, I could do that. If I wanted to put in 100 or 1,000, or up to 9,999 in one go. And in fact, if I even needed more than that, if I need more than 10,000 bingo cards, I can just print 9,999 and then just immediately do print it again. I'll get another 9,999. Uh, so let's put in uh, 25, for example. Uh, and I'm now ready to print, uh, but I will do uh, print preview. That will uh, allow me to see, first of all, the call list. Those are the list of words in random order that I mentioned earlier. Now the first bingo card is here. It's in my special fonts and colors. The words are in uh, a random order. And if I do the next page, you'll see um, the second page has got the bingo cards uh, with uh, a different order. And the next page is uh, different again. And the next page is different again. And the next page is different again. And so on, up to my 25 bingo cards that I chose to print. Um, OK, one last thing I'll show you is that I said there's an option in the program to also do calling on the fly. That's here. If I do pit all play call game. Game useful to a bingo caller, particularly if you're using bingo cards in uh, education, um, like an ESL class, or for teaching reading, or math, or something like that. OK, um, first item is called Dentist. It shows me here what it would look like. And it shows me uh, the previously um, previous item. So when I say Dentist, I see that. If I press Next, it will choose another item, Chef. And it shows me that Dentist was previous. The most recent item is Chef. Bookkeeper is next. Um, secretary is next, and so on, and so on. And that's basically it. If you go to bingocardprinter.com, you can um, download a free trial version of the uh, program, uh, try it out, see how you like it, and hopefully you'll find it useful, and uh, upgrade to the full version. Thanks very much. Um, enjoy the, hope you enjoyed the video at bingocardprinter.com. Go to the website and download the program. Thank you.